Okay, so for this next video lecture, so we will be discussing about the factors that affect the sample size for the test of controls. Okay, so in this case, the auditor should consider the following factors in determining the sample size for the test of controls. First, uh, for the intended reliance on internal control, meaning uh, the level of the assessed uh, control risk. So in this case, the more the auditor will rely on the effectiveness of the internal control, then his assessment will be lower control risk. So to support his assessment, he has to uh, have a large sample size to test if indeed the internal controls are effective. So simply stated, when the auditor expects that the internal control is effective, the auditor is required to perform test of controls. Okay, But if he assessed uh, for example, if he assess the internal control as ineffective, then he uh, internal uh, test of control is not performed anymore. Okay, but in this case, since uh, the auditor relies on the internal control, so he has to perform test of controls. So with that, uh, greater reliance to the internal controls. So the auditor needs greater extent of tests. To determine its efficient or effective effectiveness. Okay, so meaning sample size should be increased to support his assessment. What about for tolerable deviation rate? So in this case, uh, this refers to the rate of deviation. Okay, from the internal control that is set by the in the auditor. Okay, and in which he seeks to obtain appropriate level of assurance that deviations will not exceed uh, the actual rate of deviation in the population. So this is to, of course, minimize the sampling risk. Okay. So simply stated, the tolerable rate of devi deviation, this represents the maximum deviation from the control procedures that an auditor is willing to accept without modifying his planned control risk. So this is the acceptable deviation rate. Uh, so therefore, the higher the tolerable rate of deviation, smaller uh, sample size needs to be tested. Uh, because in this case, uh, since tolerable rate, uh, tolerable meaning acceptable, deviation is higher, so, there is greater room for acceptable uh, deviations if there is. So, in this case, the auditor will just use lesser or smaller sample size. Okay. Whereas, if the tolerable deviation rate is low, then sample size should increase okay, to determine if there are more deviations in the sample that represents the population. Okay, what about for unexpected or expected population deviation rate? Okay, so this is uh, expected rate of occurrence. So this refers to the rate of deviation from the prescribed control procedures that the auditor expects to find in the population. Whereas uh, in the deviation rate, okay, so this is the rate of deviation from the uh, internal control that he seeks to obtain a level of assurance that is set and this should not exceed the actual rate of deviation. So that is the difference between the two. Okay. So under this uh, expected rate of occurrence, ordinarily the expected population deviation rate is determined by referencing to prior year's deviation. So this is how it is done. And uh, of course, this will need to be adjusted for current years changes in the control procedure. So the higher the expected rate of deviation uh, of, the of the population that needs to be tested, the larger okay, the sample size should be. Okay. To make or to make the to make a reasonable estimate of the actual or true rate of deviation. That's why uh, larger uh, uh, samples is needed. If the expected devi deviation rate However, exceeds 
the tolerable deviation rates, then test of controls need not to be uh, performed. Because in this case, it seems to be that the internal controls is not effective. So no more test of control should be uh, performed by the auditor. Okay. So what about for the auditors require uh, confidence level and acceptable risk of assessing risk too low? For test of controls, the auditors requires required confidence level. So this refers to the level of assurance. Okay, that the auditor desires the result of the sample are in fact indicative of the actual incidents in the population. So, it is the mathematical complement of the sampling risk. For example, risk of assessing risk too low, meaning uh, the auditor will, uh, will rely on the effectiveness of the internal control, and in fact, it is not. So, for instance, if the acceptable risk of assessing risk too low is 10, the auditor's confidence level is 90, okay, because a risk is only 10%. So, an increase in the auditor's required confidence will result to an increase in the sample size, okay, because again, we are talking about test of controls. This is to determine okay, in, if indeed it is effective or not. What about for the number of um, sampling units in the population? Increases in the population size will normally increase the sample size. Okay, For larger populations, however, the actual size of the population has little or minimal effect, Okay, especially for the test of controls. So, for example, a population of more than 5,000 sampling units is generally considered as if it were infinite because there are a lot of uh, items okay, to be included. So, to summarize, Okay, so this is the uh, types of uh, expectations or level of assessment made by the auditor. Okay, if this increase, what will happen to the, in the size of the sample? Okay, for if the auditor's intended reliance on internal control increase, so we will increase the sample size because auditor will need to perform test of controls. So more samples will be needed to um, verify if indeed internal controls are effective. Next, if tolerable deviation rate increases, so in this case, the sample size will decrease because in this case, there are larger amount of deviation which are considered acceptable. That's why smaller sample size is needed. For the expected population deviation, if this increase, of course, sample size will also increase. Okay, to detect larger misstatements. Next, if the auditor's required confidence level increase, okay, the sample size will increase because in this case, the auditor will rely on the internal control, the same with the first one. Okay, so he needs to have more uh, some samples to support his assessment. Another, if the acceptable risk of assessing control risk is too low. Okay, so meaning... Uh, in this case, it's like tolerable deviation rate is high, meaning in this case, um, the auditor will uh, rely on the internal control, however, the risk is low, so there are lesser sample that is needed. And lastly, for the number of something units in the population, so... If this increase, there is no negligible effect because, again, for example, uh, if the items in the population is 5,000, this is considered to be infinite already. So there is no uh, uh, a lot of uh, changes as to the sample size. So that is the factors that affect sample size for the test of controls.